has shown the human body is capable of a lot. In a sport dominated by teenagers, she's been one of the few who've managed to beat the clock. Really proud. It's, it's hard coming forth, but like after my routine, I was crying because I was so proud of myself. I couldn't walk a week ago. Um, it was black and blue. I have photos that I'll probably post after, but I didn't even know if I could compete. Gymnastics has been a part of my life since I was six years old. I've been in the gym for 20 years and it's always been my happy place. Watching the Olympics on TV, I wanted to get to that level someday. I wanted to represent Canada. I wanted to hopefully get to the Olympic Games and that became a dream of mine ever since I was a little girl. So we had never had a senior athlete make the national team before. And I knew it was a possibility, but it's hard when there's not people around you doing that level of gymnastics. And I did get there, and I think it's just about having belief and trust in the process and, and believing that you can get to that level. Growing up in the gym, my coach always told us to dream big and to work hard. It was not so much focusing on the possibility of it being impossible, but the possibility of it being possible. There's no one path. There's no uh, straight line to reaching your goal. It's filled with many different avenues, many different curves and bumps in the road. And if you can be adaptable and you can have that mindset that no matter what, you're going to be able to adapt and take another path or route to try and reach your goals. Picture myself not competing. I'd love to stick with it as long as possible. I'm just, I'm not ready to be done yet.